Hi everyone, it's Sam. I'm here to give you an update on the Roots Double Effect Hair Growth System. I started using the system on the 4th of August, uh, sorry, 24th of August, and I've done initial review on what I thought of uh, the products. Then I did a two week update and now I'm going to give you my third update. Now, I must apologize, I'm wearing a hat today, so that's the purpose of showing you how I'm getting on. I will take it out, but I will apologize in advance because my hair is having a really bad day today, so I've coated up with a hat. Um, so I've been using the system since August. I've bought the shampoo, which is the um, this one for colored hair, which is the Hair Growth Double Effect Color Protect Shampoo. Contains 1% Pro Sipple. I then uh, have also bought the hair mask, which is the one that looks like this. It says it's a Roots Double Effect um, a hair conditioning mask. And then also I've got the Roots Reduce Hair Loss Intensive Spray, this one. So what I've been doing is shampooing my hair with the shampoo, um, lathering, trying to lather it in. Initially I told you that I was having a problem, I didn't like the texture um because it, it, it doesn't lather as much i think i'm still feel the same about it but i've gotten used to it i try to be you know wet my hair as, as much as i can i kind of shampoo it to the roots and try and get any oiliness out of it it does make my hair feel clean but i must say it is a weird weird texture for me anyway then i use the hair mask so I'm using the hair mask as a conditioner so wash my hair, uh, squeeze out the water, then apply the uh, mask to, uh, roots to tip, leave it in as I would conditioner and then rinse it out. But on the in-between days, I've actually uh, washed my hair, towel dried it, um, applied the mask, roots to tip and slept with it overnight. Um, it is a bit of a bother for me. I have long hair, although it is falling so it's thinning, thinning hair, but um, you know, to sleep with wet hair or damp hair overnight isn't the most comfortable, but I have been doing that because that's what's been uh, prescribed. And then finally, I've been using the um, Reduce Hair Loss Intensive Spray. I sort of spray it in the morning before I go to work, massage it in very quickly, and then spray it in the evenings before I go to bed. Again, massaging it into my um, scalp, sort of just getting it uh, in random places. So I'm hoping that I'm getting all the spots that I have concerns. Now, my main concern is the front of my hair, the sides, um, and sort of the, the, the back of the crown area. We have noticed that the most hair fall has been uh, so if you've seen my other videos, my hair loss journey or the hair loss issues have started since 2014. Yeah, 2014. So it's a couple of years now. And it's kind of, decre you know, gotten worse and then stopped and gotten worse and various sort of stages of it. Uh, I must say, I went to the doctor last week, had my hormones retested again. The only thing that's come back is to say that I have um, D3 levels that were really low. The rest of it came out fine and she, she's, my doctor's prescribed me to go back on uh, vitamin D3, quite a high, the maximum dose. So I've been doing that only a couple of days now. So I'll keep you updated on that. Overall, what do I feel? Um, again, I'm getting used to the shampoo. I'm on my second bottle on the shampoo. So for a month and a half, mm, it hasn't lasted very long. And I'm on my second bottle of the intensive spray again. I'm not sure. It doesn't, it doesn't say very clearly how much to spray, but I, if I do all the spots that I needed, I'm on my second bottle. So again, month and a half really, um, it, it didn't last that long. And the mask is, is still fine. I have a third of the bottle of the tube left. Um, and um, I will buy that one again. I do like it um, for an overnight conditioning treatment, so I will get that again. In terms of hair growth, uh, I'm gonna let you be the judge. I will let you see my hair now, um, so I warn you in advance. But for me, I'm in the middle of the road. I haven't seen any huge hair growth or hair, the hair loss stoppage, um, but there has been a difference. I think when I wash my hair, the days I'm washing my hair, I notice that there's, there's, there's shedding happening and I'm you know, there's, there's still quite a lot. But in between days that I wash my hair, say if I wash my hair today, tomorrow when I dry it or when it's been dried, uh, there's, it isn't much um, of hair loss like I would on other days. So I kind of notice it then. Uh, but again, if I wash my hair on the so third, third, third day, then I am not noticing it in the, in the shower. But for me, that is a difference because on previous occasions, I'd have continuous hair loss. So throughout the day, if I run my hand through, through my hair and things like that. Now, the only thing I have noticed, um, which I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful, is that there has been some growth sort of along my hairline with some baby hairs. Um, whether it's just solely this treatment or not, I 
not 100% sure, but I'm going to monitor that because I am taking my vitamins religiously and I've changed my vitamins as well. So um, I'm not entirely sure whether that is contributing to this change. I mean, I'm sure most of you are doing everything you can. So, you know, if a combination of it helps, then, then, then that, you know, may be positive as well. I will link below what I'm using for vitamin um, supplements as well again. So here we go. I must apologize. It looks awful. So this is my very flat hair at the moment because of my hat. So my hair loss is mainly sort of in the front. If, if you can see through the light, you can see my scalp. Lighting is not great here. I've got it sort of along the pathway and then to the back. But what I've noticed is on my hairline here, where it was really, really thin, there was no hair growth at all. I do have some baby sprouts coming through. And they are growing they're not just falling off so i'm kind of hopeful that i'm going to monitor this area and kind of have some on this side as well uh, although you can't really see because the lighting's oh we've got, got a gray there as well um so there is some baby hair growing there so fingers crossed that this is a sign of something that's positively happening in terms of change of my hair i really 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 want the hair loss to be reduced but you know maybe it's still early days if you have any comments, questions, or any feedback, please let me know how you're going on with it. I'd really like to know what you're doing. If something's working for you, it may work for others as well. So leave some comments below and I'll catch you up in a few weeks. Take care. Bye.